to the Punk Rock Horror Podcast. My name is Matt. Oh, you're really on top of that, weren't you? I, I'm getting used to it. You're just like, eh, Are you going to introduce no, yourself? I just said I'm Cody. Okay, well, you said it like, I'm Cody. I'm Cody. This is episode nine, our paranormal episode, and we have a special guest with us this time, Troy Mackey and Aaron McGarry from Code 3 Paranormal. Say hi, guys. What's going on, guys? Hey. So, Aaron so cool. is our returning champion, and this is Mackey's first time. To uh, overtake Aaron. Yeah. You can't overtake the Mad Pooper. <laughs> we are Mad Pooper. We are breaking God. his podcast cherry. <laughs> that is correct. That's another one to add to the list. There you go. So, yeah, we have a lot to get through today. So, um, do you want to do something you love, something you hate now? Sure. Okay. So, Mackie, just so you know, already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've listened to the episodes, but you know, we talk about something we love, something we hate, usually in our second episodes. But because we have so much to go through on the second one, we're just going to do it now instead. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to go first? Why not? Because I'm all just agitated anyways. <laughs> I'm uh, just going to go with something I hate first is those fucking drivers on the highway. Oh my God. <laughs> like I'm on my way down here. Everyone has to stop just to see something. Like it doesn't even have to be a big thing. Like everyone has to stop on the interstate. They're like, whoa, what's that over there? Slam on my brakes just to like turn and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you're going fucking 80. Like, Jesus Christ, you have to slap on your brakes just to see a small accident or anything? Like, fuck. It wasn't a destroyed Go. Humvee. Oh, no, th- today it was a destroyed Humvee. I mean, that's ki- like, okay, that's kind of cool, but you can still see it. You don't have to slam on your brakes. There's live leaks on YouTube. You can actually see yeah. people. Yeah, seriously. It's Absolutely. like, and then, like, it was the after effects. It's not like it just blew up. If it just blew up then and there, totally understandable. I'm yeah, like, you okay, see a whole cool mushroom cloud. Yeah, I'd be like, oh my God, am I going to die? No, it's like after the effects, like, you even see the, like, army dudes like standing outside the humvee disappointed in themselves like oh my god all this military funding and we can't take care of a fucking humvee <laughs> tax paying money at work there <laughs> government at its best buddy. yeah seriously it, it you know you nothing's better. going to the schools you know what guess what if the money was going to the schools you know who could have solved that problem the fucking auto mechanics that would be getting goddamn funding being learning about this shit but no Somebody get this man a Xanax. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just auto roll to it. If it makes you feel better, from where you are is actually the best the microphone has ever picked up your audio. Fuck you, microphone. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> the so, constant struggle. And now I guess now we have to sit next to each other from now on. Yeah, just... Uh, no one, no one can see what we're doing. I know the joke is you gotta like, always have guests now. Yeah, it's gonna guests. Um, I got something I love would have to be like Monster Hunter World. I was gonna say, what about your hat? And my hat, yeah, which I, nobody can see. Exactly. So why does it matter? <laughs> well, what, if see somebody, what if somebody's like, "What's what's Monster Hunter World?" Like, no one, I don't know. You don't know what Monster they Hunter World is? Come like crawl out of a ditch. Like it's like the biggest game that came out in the past like month. Aaron, do you know what it is? I do now. <laughs> like I said, get out of the ditch, Aaron. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, you didn't even comment on the post. And I was like, hey, Aaron, I found a game for you that's literally oh, being a paranormal per- I like, you left him hanging? Seriously. Wow. I forgot about that. And it's like, no, play, not sure. we're like, not sure play, about this episode. Like, the cool thing <laughs> is, like, you play as a paranormal crew, <laughs> and then you go through an entire asylum that's actually, is like, is it actually haunted or not? That so sounds freaking awesome. I know. I right? Really I was so it's like, like yeah, oh. I found a game for you. It's, so like, it's like nothing. I was like, I'll just go fuck myself, man. And just <laughs> so it's die. like Grave Encounters, the video game. Basically. I commented back in my head. Oh, uh, cool. That doesn't yeah, count. That doesn't count. count. Yeah. You can't it's do like, that. I can't read your mind, Aaron. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Oh. God. Good job. You're done. What do you love and hate, Sir Mackey? Um, I'm definitely gonna have to agree with you on the traffic. Colorado, <laughs> Colorado is getting ridiculous like between stupid. the construction and all the people that are coming here. It's stupid. I'm getting sick of it. Weed's Go not home. that great. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, well it's not that great. To move <laughs> into an island, you get it. You're the stadium. hardcore party. Yeah, <laughs> she, uh, she likes the party. No, <laughs> no. I saw you tap your nose there. Homegirl, stop that. In for, all our, for all of our listeners. Yeah. yeah, you got a partier over here. Yeah, but not that kind of partier. You gotta love all that powder. You're going sugar. to Vegas, so that's what they yeah. need. No comment. <laughs> your mom's not listening, is she? My mom knows everything. <laughs> She's like, I like to party too. She's gonna text you. Oh, I call, I go in my room some or her room when I'm too drunk. Sometimes like, mom, help me. <laughs> I bet she loves waking up to you drunk. Like, really, are you gonna be in my bed again? 
Bob, I got my snooze pounded tonight. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I can't walk right, Mama. That's gonna be uh, Vegas. Anything you love, <laughs> Mackie? Uh that it is my weekend. It was a long fucking week and I am ready. Ready for the weekend. All right, so there yes, you go. I love today. There you go. <laughs> I like that. What about you, Aaron? All right. Something that I love. It's pole dancing. I have discovered my love for pole dancing, and it's amazing. I'm not amazing yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Something I hate, though. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh so my. lately, I've been getting <laughs> asked out a lot, and I say no. Or I'm like, I'm not interested in dating. And, like, I don't know if I'm speaking fucking French, mm-hmm. but then people are like, well, let's, like... We'll just hang out. Maybe you'll like me. I'm like, I don't want to date you, bud. And they still don't get it. It's persistence. See, and then yeah, like, here's the thing. Do you want here's to beg someone to date you though? Don't you want to like? Wouldn't you we rather ask but somebody? But begging out? and persistence are different. Like, look at my wife. She's way above my level, and I had to, you know, I had to work for that. <laughs> so, it worked. Here's... Persistence. Showing up at the window, breathing heavily. <laughs> 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 you had to draw a heart on your head. I love you. <laughs> Mary, the whole Bobby go. Yeah, God, I love those, are the, those are the keepers. Persistence. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh I only God. want Zach Bagans. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've talked to so many women who are like, it is so hard to date. No guy's interested in me. And I'm like, it is way easier than you think. And then you're just like, I have all these guys asking yeah, me out. I'm like, totally. this is what I'm talking about. For guys asking out women, such a different game. When yeah. it comes to it women, is. though, like, mm-hmm. the guys They're just line up. Yeah. But I feel like... I'm being honest and being upfront. I'm like, I'm not interested in dating anybody right now. Well, no, there's like, nothing wrong with that. Like, challenge. the whole point I make. What am game, I supposed to be? Go on. out with them and game then game on. He's gonna make it happen. No, it's a free winners meal. Winners win. <laughs> I was like, you get a free meal. Yeah. Right? Did I tell you? But go. I try not to be that much of a dick. Do I want to use people. You want to know when it switches though for guys? <laughs> when? At least for guys like me. I don't know about every other guy. Is when you go to a gay bar. I haven't been to one, so I... Well, here, okay, so here's what happened. So I knew what it was like to be a hot chick when I finally went to a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew what it was like. You're like, yeah, bring it on. So well, you I, go every weekend, right? Well, because my friend, <laughs> well, my friend, she wanted to go to one. She's never been to one before, and she's like, will you go with me? I'm really scared. And I'm like, sure, whatever, let's let's go. Why not? At least I can say I'm not homophobic. Yeah. So went went to it, For and this... Sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, I so, want to make a bad joke. So I, <laughs> no, it's... Do it. it's I'm it's not funny. just sure. I'm HIV oh positive. My God. <laughs> Here they come. That's not funny, Cartman. Okay, this is a serious <laughs> yeah. issue. So, anyways, we, so I went. So we went to the bar, and like I just went up and got a drink, right? And I was expecting to pay like six, seven bucks. And he's like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "I don't know, something, something heavy, something like minty. I don't know." And he's like, "Okay, well, heavy here, and minty." Who here's like here's here's this? <laughs> I I was put on the spot. <laughs> I'm surprised I said that, and I like. Hickory. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice, a nice oaky afterbirth. <laughs> so, afterbirth. but he's just like, so I was expecting to pay office. like six, seven bucks. He's like, <laughs> he's like, That's three bucks. And I'm like, What? And then, like, I heard, like, him charge a girl for the same drink that I had, but she had, like, she had to pay like six bucks. Oh. And I'm just like, Damn. Greatest and so, life. so then going forward, I sat down with my friend and I would just, when I sit down and I'm not having conversations, I just look around, just, it's just what I do. It's like part of my ADHD. And I looked around, well, I looked back, and I saw one dude like doing his dance, and it was this big Jack dude. And I mean, <laughs> jacked, like rock Dwayne Johnson Jack dude. And he's just like, we make eye contact. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and I'm like, so I don't look at it for the rest of the time. But during the meeting, but before we left, um, Another guy comes up to me and he starts rubbing my back. He's like, he's like, how you doing? Like, I can't talk the way he talked. But he's like, how you doing? Are you look, you're looking really good. I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah. He's like, yeah. I'm like, but I thought he was legit just trying to hang out. I didn't click on that. You're so intrigued like, by the alcohol. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like how's it going? And he's like, yeah, it's good. I'm like, just dance, dance. I'm like, you, you having a good time? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I was, like, I thought he was going to like grab another drink order or something for me because I've never been to a gay bar before. So, and then, like, I realized when he started moving his hand down lower to my butt, and I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm not gay. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to, like, like, I'm not trying to, like, you know, you know, rip you guys off or anything. Like, I just, I came here for my, with my friend. And he's like, so you're sure you're not gay? And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and I was just like, wait, what? You're not either? And I'm like, and I'm like wait, are, he's like, no, I'm not gay. No. And I'm like, then why what? are you here? And he's like, 
first of all, it pays really well, and most of these dancers are straight and or married. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. and I'm like wow. you're fucking kidding. Wow. Wow. He's like, and I'm like, to men or women? He's like, to women. I'm like, and they're just cool with them coming in and fucking showing their junk and dancing? So it's like hopping be. on a lesbian yeah. forum. You're actually talking to other dudes who think they're talking to other girls. It's all a bunch of guys. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, and I'm like, he's like, yeah, I'm actually supposed to do this or else my boss would get mad at me because we're not making enough money or whatnot. And I'm like, oh shit, so am I supposed to pretend I'm really into you? And then I just start like, I know I'm in town. And he's just like, no, 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 you're fine. I'm like, oh, okay, because like, I don't know how far I can commit. <laughs> and then as we were leaving, like, the same same jack dude from earlier is like like fill it up this other dude like and he's like ba- the other dude he's filling up is so skinny he might as well be a baby in his arms yeah <laughs> and he's just like caressing him and then as we leave like i get I actually make eye contact with him he looks at me and he's just looked at me he's like you missed out <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just like sure i did daddy and i'm just like fierce. god i hate that i hate that fierce. so much I when too. girls call they're like yes, whatever daddy, daddy. Yes, daddy. Why? Why is that a thing? That's a whole like, other... That's just <laughs> fuck. So, so I was like, so this is what's like to be a hot chick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what yeah, I was, I moment. just got to go to gay bars from now on. It's a struggle. People I'm, are like, it can't be bad to be like a decent looking person or a decent looking girl. And it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, I would, I'm afraid to go to a gay bar. Like, okay, so that reminded me of the story I totally forgot to tell you about. So a buddy of mine, a kid that I taught how to swing dance, came back from Alaska. Right. And I ended up running into him at a bar. He brought a whole gay bar with him? No. So <laughs> everyone thinks he's gay. So, like, he's very effeminate. Like, he, but he always, like, talks about how he wants to get, like, he can't find a girlfriend because everyone ends up thinking he's gay. And so I was talking to him, and his friend comes up to me, and she, like, touches my back and goes, He's single. <laughs> and I, around, I was just like, uh, I look at her, I was like, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm, not I'm not gay. She's like, sure. And she's like, uh, and I was like, I taught him how to dance. Like, yeah, that doesn't, doesn't want, I know, I know, it doesn't help either. Dance, I'm like, I know? taught him how to swing dance. Oh, you single? It's like, what? You weren't helping your cause. God. God. Yeah. <laughs> Come over some tables. Did you, uh, did you say something that you love? I know we completely yes. sidebarred your yeah. Yes. What was the thing you love? Pole oh, dancing. Oh. Pole dancing. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. right. That's right. The hate you needed. I hate when dudes. Oh, the dudes. Oh, dude. Yeah, don't yeah. know how to take That's a date. That's how it started all. Not even a date. Just a, I don't want to date right now. Yeah, you want. I don't. Erin needs to be Erin. She needs to find her zen. I need to spread my wild oats, man. <laughs> wild oats. <laughs> wild oats. Is that is that what the kids call it these days? I thought it was wings. What I call a. What comes? <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. My coworker was listening to this the other day. I'm like, oh no. Oh, she knows the shit on her car. Oh, they all know that anyway. Because I'm always like, do you need me to poop on their car? Are they being rude? Okay. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Ain't rude. We'll position myself over a bridge and everything. Yeah. I got this. Dude, shout out to Aaron's coworker for listening to us. <laughs> I have you around. Thank you. How you doing? Do an ASMR session just for you. Oh. <laughs> Um, yep. I guess for me, it's like kind of what I, the same thing as episode seven, but I'm still happy about it. So whatever is that we're having bands still reach out to us on our Twitter. Um, the one that reached out to us recently was bad Mary and they have like a really awesome CBGB sound. Like, like talking heads, misfits, stuff like oh, okay. that. <laughs> like the CBGBs. You know what I mean? Like, like the venue. <laughs> well, no, they're, they're a female fronted band. They're like really badass, and I love listening to their music. I've been actually burg- purging. Burging, Bur- purging. Binging. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> so I, I know. I was <laughs> like, where was I going with that? Uh, but yeah, I've been binging their music throughout this whole week, and all I can say is to everyone listening is give them some attention. Check them out. They're really worth it. Say the name uh, again. Bad Mary. Bad Mary. Bad right. Mary. Yeah, they're Seems bad bad-ass. ass. And they're, we also actually had um, this, this Kickstarter called Skeleton Cop, and it's for like a short film, and it's... <laughs> It's so ridiculously weird that I love it. Like, so all I can say is Yay. go find their Kickstarter, go check out their trailer. It's it's so B movie awesome that I <laughs> I want to actually watch it because it's because they have an actual like anatomy like class skeleton. Oh cool! That goes around cool. and has like a shotgun, has a little has like the old like type of cop hat, and he's actually just like Shit. stopping crime. And you can tell that they're having fun with this movie, and I'm just like, I can't help but like this. Yeah, you have to have fun with that kind of movie. <laughs> because like there's there's no CGI. They're literally just like holding up the two like the skeleton's <laughs> arm as he shoots. That's awesome. It's so funny. 
You might like it. Just kind of like Team America. You can see all the boys. It's so much better. You're like, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, the like fist fight scenes in that movie is the best because all it is is just like yes. smashing the puppets Smash. together. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it yep. so much. Oh my god. Um, Why does it look like someone shit on the top of your phone? Because Aaron, that's Aaron. Aaron, 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 Aaron what did Aaron, I do Aaron. to you? Guy, Aaron, Aaron, what did Aaron, I do Aaron. to you? Are you sure you need coffee? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was just thinking how much I have to pee, but. You can go pee We're real quick. two minutes into this thing. Guy, you can go pee real quick. <laughs> Why not? Keep talking. Keep talking. No, 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 so no, I have to give something no, you love. No, we're just going to bring the he mic just into did. the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> something, you something you hate, I mean. I hate it God. when our guests have to just go pee in the middle of recording. <laughs> Every two minutes. No more coffee, <laughs> no more coffee for us. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> the, the thing that I kind of hate, like, I don't want to make, because it's, it's, I don't know if it verges on, like, the edge of political or not. But it's I just, mean, I already went on the tangent of mine. Well, well, because it's like it was just the FBI director, like his response to the whole shooting. Oh, yeah. I just I hated his response, like, and I don't know if like I should go off on that or not, because I feel I mean, it's well because it, like we we don't want to be disrespectful, but I also feel like listeners tune in to just kind of escape everything for like at least an hour. You yeah, know? yeah. And and so that's you could jump on it. the traffic bandwagon that we started. I, yeah, this, 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 <laughs> this is going to be the traffic listening. Room. You know what? Fine. I, I will add into it. And here's, you know what fucking drives? Well, okay, no, no, I got it. Now. I got it. Now. I got it. Now. You know what fucking drives me crazy? I'm like, God, no. I know what fucking pisses me off that drives me crazy. So I am so fucking mad at parents that are my age because they are. They, I don't know what this fucking mentality is of, like, your kid is special. Like, your kid has these amative, amazing creative skills. If your kid is fucking three, your kid is fucking three. Exactly. My yeah. daughter's three years old. I know she, like, to me, she is special, but she hasn't done anything amazing yet. <laughs> and that's, no, that's honest, because she's not, she's not at the age where she can. Yeah. Like, and to, she's to, learning life. And so I get yeah. so mad at these parents that, like, put up all these pictures on their fucking Facebook saying, like, he is so smart, or she is so creative. And I'm like, they're a fucking yeah. kid. <laughs> you're showing the pictures, and you're like, oh, like okay. that's nothing. My, my kid did 10 of those last week. Yeah, like, no, like, it's just, yeah. and it makes me so goddamn angry. Because it's like they have to treat them like super fragile snowflakes, and then it, it makes it hard for them to like take in anything that bad that happens to them. Absolutely. Like, like my daughter, when she falls, she like yeah, she gets stuffy face, but she stands up, brushes off her shoulders, and then gets back Absolutely. at it. Absolutely. I will like, pick them up. I'll let them just fall and like hey. Yeah, because she needs. Well, go. and I mean, yeah. like I mean from like a swing. Like if she fell from the top of a slide. Yeah, I would not have <laughs> right right away. Oh my god, Eric! No, <laughs> you're fine. Wait, <laughs> come on. We can reattach your arm. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah those big ones in. are gonna help. But like, yeah. it, just, it just drives me crazy because like people just put on these protective walls around them mm-hmm. and they're not going to be able to handle life when they get older. Like Absolutely. they're not going to be able to handle hurdles and it, it drives me crazy. And then people look at me and they're like, you're too strict of a dad. I'm like, no, I just want my kids to not break down on their first math problem. Yes. Or be a dick. Like, yes. just, yeah. yeah. They they lose their first basketball God. Game, whatever it is. Well, I want to teach my know. kids to be bullies. So they, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm going to do. Keep like, the right. cycle going. Yeah, yeah it's like, adorable, adorable rules. I want to teach my kids to be cats. So, All right, and let's move on. Yeah. You want to teach your kids See, again? Why I'm gonna. I hope my kids cats. bully yours Why because of that. I I'm just kidding. I hate kids. I want, <laughs> I want cats. Except my kid. Your kid's cute. I like little Mia too. Yeah. There, there's two. There's two. Yeah. It's and my Kateri's kid, John. Okay, three. It's, like, it's because they're not your kids. So yeah, it's yeah, like, you're like if they start crying, you're like, and there you go. <laughs> they were my kid. I'd put him in a soundproof room until they shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake me up, motherfucker. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's what I hate. And if you're one of those kind of parents, you need to get the fuck over yourself. Your kid isn't special yet. It's empty. You drink so. it. <laughs> I was like, it's that's empty. Don't glare at him like that. God, All right, Aaron. so now let's move on. Um, <laughs> so before we get into it, I'm going to give a little history about uh, paranormal media, stuff like that, ghost stories. Um, so ghost stories have been around since 1597 with Shakespeare's Richard III. Ghosts. Excuse me, I'm burping. Well, with Richard III, and the ghost in that uh, tale was basically all the ghosts that Richard, who killed, came back to haunt him and eventually curse him, and eventually he lost in the next battle that he fought in. I know all Shakespearean people are going to get so fucking mad with me because I did not like fully go into the detail of that. Me, but me, me, me. It's cool. That's my response to that. Um, me, me, me. 
Well, well then it, it got, yeah. and then paranormal movies even got more popularized by Charles Dickinson's A Christmas Carol in 1843, which has been revamped and recreated numerous times throughout history. My favorite's the Seriously. Muppet version. Oh, Muppet version is the <laughs> best. If you don't say um, that out, you can catch these hands. And, and the reason I want to point that out is because, like, oddly, paranormal works have tend to be the most popular genre for horror and non-horror fans to actually come together on. Because it's like, you know, for us, we could talk about how much we love The Conjuring, but then we can also relate with people who are like, oh, yeah, I love A Christmas Carol, or um, I love the movie Ghost with Patrick Sweezy. You know, because it's it's I thought you just said the ghost of Patrick <laughs> Swayze. Yeah. No, I was like, is, when did is. he is. die? <laughs> I mean, at least now it's accurate. Yeah, it is. It's, accurate. it's a little it more is. accurate. Um, he did? Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he died. Oh. Kurt Russell's the one that's still alive. Kurt yeah. Russell's still I mean, the same. barely kicking. Yeah, I mean, know. Yeah. They just look really alive. I mean, like. I loved him in Guardians of the Galaxy, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> but, uh, paranormal works have even gone on to be in children's stories, such as in the 1930s with Casper the Friendly Ghost. I know it's kind of like we're you know talking about horror, but it's hard to think about. Like it's hard to make that kind of connection because Casper is fun and whimsical, but it's still like it's it's, sh- it's showing mm-hmm. that ghosts have had a prominent part in society for a very long time. And then even with films like Feel the Dreams with Kevin Costner and Ghost with Patrick Swayze that we just talked about. Mm-hmm. There's still ghosts. Ghost, Ghostbusters. Are, Ghostbusters, exactly. Like, like, like it show, well, that movie. Well, yeah. what, what this Thank showing you. is that ghosts are a definite selling point for a story. <laughs> People obviously love to see stuff about ghosts. Regardless of what kind of version you put it in, it's still like people still love to see it. And that's at least what I'm getting from this. But it really didn't get its horror look it's terrifying scary look until 1973 with you know evil ghosts and demons with the exorcist yeah because that's oh, so re- really bro i'm not saying like there has been creations before that but that's where it really broke that's where it took off. well yeah that's, that's where, where it took off that's i was gonna really say like Absolutely. uh the old the old cartoons i always forget his name the guy who uh disney actually ripped off um, um it's what inspired cuphead but anyways a lot of his twilight zone no, cartoons. Oh, like cartoons. old cartoons. I always forget his name, and I feel really bad because he get, doesn't get as much credit as he deserves. But um, I mean, a can... lot of his old creations were like um, ghosts and skeletons and stuff like that, like all those old cartoons, mm-hmm. and they weren't meant for kids. Like, But they became for the kids. Yeah, that's when Walt <laughs> Disney was like, ha, 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 I'm going to pull yeah. a Nintendo before Nintendo does it. Yeah. <laughs> With uh, being all child-friendly. Yeah. Well, and then, like, it got fallen on. I'm trying to find it for you. The <clears throat> I don't know. We'll look into that in a second. Yeah. But, but uh, to, to get more to the point, um, it, it followed up with Poltergeist in 1982 and mm-hmm. Ghostbusters in 1984, which, understandably, it's a comedy film, but it still has its scares in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That librarian ghost, when I first saw that, I almost shit oh, yeah. myself. Yeah. Or the, she's like, Man! Yeah, I was like, kids, fuck that. Or, like, when Sigourney yeah. Weaver's in her apartment and, like, the demon dog is, like, <laughs> in yeah. the zoo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there is no eggs. There is only Zool. <laughs> that's right. And then, well, after that, you kind of saw it fade away. And Mercedes. You didn't really see what a lot of, like, movies or shows mm-hmm. talk about, you know, get that much attention that goes in it until, you know, Paranormal Activity and the Conjuring movies came back. Yeah. It came out, and that's what really brought people's attention back with it because it showed how terrifying ghosts can be because you can't, you know, see them. Yeah. And so that's the history I kind of just want to give on, like, paranormal movies ghost stories and whatnot Mm -hmm. and you know just go into a little more because i think he i I don't know if edgar Allan poe did any i know that one's kind of argued but um i mean the black cat yeah kind of kind of i mean he he does a lot alludes a lot yeah 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 he does well like the thing that i like about paranormal movies is that they have so the thing I like about them is that they have small spans of like they a lot of movies come out, a lot of paranormal stuff come out, and then it disappears for a cu- couple years, kind of like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it doesn't get oversaturated. So like, for instance, as much as I love zombies, oh my god, you Too can't many. do anything without like a zombie effect yeah. to it. Like yeah. video video games, especially every single Call of Duty now has to have zombies. a zombies mode. Yeah. Um, and then like. Uh, it's hard for like anything to like for zombies to be scary anymore because everyone's so obsessed about it. Everywhere. And then it's like even this you can even argue with demons. 
Like, there's demons in everything. That, like, almost any kind of thing oh, yeah. is going to have more, some kind of demon But I think that's more, it. like, religious kind of stuff. Well, yeah, but that's what Ooh. I mean. That's what I like about paranormal movies is that they'll have their span. Like, for instance, there's the insidious and paranormal activities. And then after, like, they conclude their stories, then there's nothing. And then a new ghost movie will come out, and it's really good. And then you'll have, yeah. like, a good span of, like... Mm -hmm for the most part, quality paranormal movies. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's what I really like about those kind of, like, paranormal movies. But it's like you're saying that there's over, they oversaturated it. Because, like, well, because... No, no, I'm saying those... No, uh, no, no, because I'm going off, like, what you're saying about zombies, though. Yeah. Like, they, were, like, they started to do the same with a lot of paranormal movies where they didn't... They got, they got lazy. Instead of trying to recreate a story, they kept trying to just milk a story. I eat all the paranormal activity movies. Yeah, yeah. Because that well, first one is so good. I it is. Mm -hmm. I still stand by the first through the third is yeah. the only ones you need to what see. Was your, first two. Budget because yeah, like <laughs> I can't. I refuse to watch the it second really, one anymore. It was tiny. I can't. I can't like the second one. Why? <laughs> because so when I tried to watch the second one, me and our friend Michael got really, really oh, drunk. Oh God! Yeah, you told and, me And like about the this. entire time, we were just like talking yeah. about how we would do. Megan Fox and Olivia Wilde and the entire like house every like scene we're like and we do her like this and this part or like this oh and that God. part because he was obsessed with Megan Fox and like Olivia Wilde is my like why. crush I don't know dude like, I do I don't Megan know Fox is freaking she brings out the gay in me pretty hard I, I mean know. she's, she's alright too fake for me like I, right. I appreciate when you see her like actual photos over to how she looks on screen because screen. Yeah. on screen I'm like that's CGI'd almost. Like she looks fake. And we digress. Yeah. <laughs> like, except for Jennifer's body, I appreciated her in that one. Love that. So to move forward, you know, Aaron, Mackie, whichever one of you want to jump in first, what what really caught your interest with paranormal movies, or was there a movie that caught your interest to go into paranormal investigating? Because I feel like for you guys, the, like it had to start somewhere. Uh, it, that's not really what got me going in it, but what really got me sparked for, like, being interested in the paranormal was, um, we talked about it the other day, Aaron and I, for The Blair Witch. Because when they, when they made that movie, the actors disappeared for, like, six months, if you remember. Yeah, we actually talked yes. about it in our last yeah, episode. Yeah, so yeah. they sold that as being real. So I remember being, like, 16 or young and, like, man, we need to go to Maryland. We gotta go through those woods and we gotta go look for this. This is yeah. fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. So that was really where it sparked, like, my interest. And then I got interested more and more into it. But that was probably the first movie that I was like, oh, man, I need to find ghosts. This is, <laughs> this is, this cool. is what I want to do yeah, from now this on. this is cool. So. I think for me, I mean, I can't remember a time that I haven't been super interested in paranormal. Like, even when I was little in um, my old school, there was, they take us to the library. We could all get two books every, like, month or something. And uh, I would always get the ghost stories. That's, mm -hmm. like, all I cared about was reading ghost stories. Yeah. And um, as I started getting older, uh, Ghost Hunters came out and Ghost Adventures and all that. And it's sort of like, oh, okay, like, you can actually – Get into this. Do this. Yeah. 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 And so I don't ever want to like rip off the shows. I just want to rip off Zach's clothes. <laughs> but I mean, Every to know day. it's possible. Every <laughs> time. I think we need, <laughs> we I think we need to start. Persistence. We need to start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you were just talking yeah, about like, this no. kind of stuff. No, I don't like this. But like, if Zach persistent. told me no, I'd probably just go cry in a corner for six no, months. You would, no, you would. No, you wouldn't. You I mean, you would be like smushing your face at his home window. <laughs> like, Zach, I love you. Yeah. Rub a chocolate on yourself. <laughs> My ego is too strong for that. I'd be like, no, I just go cry. There's always that one person. Yeah. There's always one. There's always the one. I feel like Zach will be. We need one. a counter. And then, <laughs> and I need to click every time you mention Zach. Yes. Yeah. On this show. Like five I'm just hoping that somebody, <laughs> like, he knows or him ends up listening to this and be like, that's we'll my send, soulmate. We'll send it to him. Or he'd be like, oh, we got to keep this crazy bitch out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you just wanted to acknowledge you in either exactly. way. Basically. <laughs> but yeah, so that was kind of where it started. And um, I mean, do you have a story or something that really, like, you hold close to your heart that, was, that deals with ghosts or paranormal happenings? Um, I mean, since the time I was little, um, I've seen ghosts. And my grandma's house, when we moved in with her, was so freaking haunted. Like, <coughs> shit would just go crazy there. Mm -hmm. And so, and I was at that age where my mom was kind of being like, oh, no, no, it's just your imagination. But I'm like, I know this isn't my imagination. Like, something's not right. Shit yeah. moving, moved on the shelf overnight. Yeah. Grandma, did you see that? Oh, I sneezed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the AC so, really, really yeah. hard. I sneezed Once my really show hard. is on Netflix... 
everybody can hear more about it. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plug. Yeah, I, like, I wish I could say the name of the show, but I can't. You're yeah, so no, sly. <laughs> so, what about you, Mal? What got you into the paranormal stuff? I think I was kind of the same way with Aaron. Like when I was in middle school, um, I would only go for either the the mangas or the horror like books out of my out of the library in the middle school. And there was one that I think was called like Thirteen Stories about yeah. like, about yeah. like ghosts and like it had a skeleton on it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah scary stories. Really yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just scary stories. And then and then obviously the most classic one, which is Tales to Talk, uh, Share at Night or Talk About at Night. Mm-hmm. What what is it? Um, it has the white cover and, and it has the skeleton with like the red. Yeah, nose. looks like a clown. Yeah, that's a scary stories. No, no, no. no that's the, one, the name of the book. No, there's that one, but the one I'm talking about was like one that was less heard about, and I wish I could remember the name now because all one you're talking about oh, is okay. scary stories. You tell in the dark. But the only. Yeah. But but like the cover has like a staircase leading up to a door with a skeleton that you can see in it and mm-hmm. like stuff like that got me really interested and and then like so I love gore I love watching stuff with gore because I love the creative like nature of it because I can see the artistry with it like I know that's really hard too when like you watch stuff like Hatchet or whatnot and yeah. you just see yeah. people getting ruined but like <laughs> when you actually learn into, like to the work they put in to actually make those oh, yeah. effects yeah it's I I get really appreciative of it and so. That's why I love gore. So when it came to like paranormal, like ghost stuff, I think for me it was more of a detox because I'm so used to having things in your face and just like blood and guts everywhere that I got addicted to seeing ghosts. Well, not seeing ghosts because it's it's what you couldn't see that terrifies you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like mm-hmm. I have there's one spectrum where I watch it for the pure enjoyment of it, and then there's this other side of the spectrum where I watch it to get scared absolutely to be terrified about it yeah and i and i think it just it was also just kind of like this something that was really interesting because it's like i was more scared about people who have died and who are haunting than than like demons or you know zombies or anything like that and i think there's like a vulnerability to that yeah that made me want to that attracted me to it yeah so you um i actually got into ghosts actually because of the scary stories book and it was it was the dumbest story because it's actually – I'm fairly certain my mom read it and she would always tell me this stupid joke about how there is this ghost that would like come at, come to the end of this lady's bed and she's like, what can I do with my hands? What can I do with my mouth? And, like he does this for like <laughs> for a week straight. Yeah. Story. Yeah. And well, like – okay. So, what can so, I do with my mouth? Yeah. And so the chick like gets <laughs> really mad one movie. night and just screams at the ghost, what? And he goes – and like that's the joke you would tell me and I actually read it from like the book and so I was like it was like when I always thought of ghosts like it was kind of comical but as I got older the thing I like about paranormal movies at least the ones that I really like and love is that more times than not there's never a real happy ending yeah and because when you think about when you think about it with ghosts and stuff like that and because like you watch uh Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street and yeah they kind of yeah. throw that twist and it's like oh he's not really dead yeah and stuff like that but for the most part they have that happy ending because it's a creature you can destroy but when it comes to ghosts you you can't get rid of them like yeah you, they're there it's like basically permanent and stuff like that but like shh <laughs> yeah. Anytime right. now. I'm talking about movies okay Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways I mean they did get rid of the ghost kind of with poltergeist no i know but like till the second one yeah till the second one <laughs> oh, yeah. i always forget, yeah, that, forget that, that there's a second one but like i always but forget like, for there's the most three. part like when you think about it in a, go- a real ghost story in movies and stuff like that the best ones for me were the ones that didn't have the happy ending like they you, it's yeah. like it's still there it's a still lingering presence like and so that's why i, I really got into those because it's not for me it was a nice refresher instead of seeing like Oh, they vanquished the monster, and the guy gets the girl. Oh my God! It's more of like he still did made you come. Yeah. <laughs> he moved, but he still yeah. made you coming. Yeah, I mean, like, was it um, really worth it? Yeah, like it follows. Like, uh, I know it's not technically a paranormal or ghost movie, oh, wow. but like it's still like this presence that only one person can see, and it's like a ghost to everybody else. And there's always that link, and like in the end, they're like, "Oh, they have this happy ending because he slept with a prostitute." I feel like you're talking about my entire middle school career. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'm not sorry, <laughs> but like, there's still not always that eerie feeling that is never truly gone. Yeah. And so that's why I was like, the vulnerability. Yep, yeah, and that's why I like you know my first tattoo is a little ghost <laughs> because. And there's it's there's always that lingering presence that it's still there because like zombies can be killed, monsters can be killed, but like when it comes to a ghost, it's like 
It uh, latches on somewhere yeah, else. It's, it can be Ghostbusters a, exactly. proved that wrong. <laughs> you know what? The and then they, they know what happened. They went fucking bankrupt and had to do kid shows. <laughs> That's what happens when you try and get rid of a ghost. And you know what happened? They found another one. Did you know the actually the original original Ghostbusters was two dudes and a monkey? Yep. I didn't know that. Didn't know that's, no idea. Yeah, that's the actual like original Ghostbusters show. We're not going to talk yeah. about it. <laughs> but I've never seen Ghostbusters. Get the, the fuck, fuck out. out! Just get out! <laughs> you know what? I don't think we can What's the point of this anymore. fucking episode? Wow. Yeah, like, now it's wow. Is everything you told us a lie? <laughs> yeah, I'm into all this Code 3 paranormal Do you stuff. even pull dance? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Do you even poop on cars? <laughs> yeah. You just made that up, did you? It's a lie! Are you even real? <laughs> I she ask made myself it that up every to day. get yeah. the attention away from girls because she's like, I've never seen any of this. Yeah, shit. it's like, you know what? It's all <laughs> try something different. Um, you know what? I just copy and paste myself into Code Three Paranormal stuff. That's not yeah. even me. She's not even part of the team. <laughs> <laughs> this is lady. God, she just shows up. <laughs> she just shows up every time. She just paid to stand there and look pretty. We, we, we gotta quit posting where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't even want to do this anymore. And, uh, so no point. So we talked about the history. We talked about you know why we love it. So. What I what we want to ask you, Mackie and Aaron, is what is so what are the differences between like Hollywood, you know, movies that have ghosts in them and paranormal happenings, yeah. and what what you know what you see in real life, <laughs> you know, what actually happens with actual hauntings? Like, what is that? What is the difference with it, and what annoys you guys that you see in movies? I think the biggest part, like even with like the TV shows and like movies, if you're actually investigating. Literally, most of your time is sitting in the dark with nothing happening. Like, sometimes for hours. And you're probably talking to something that's not there. So, I mean, I can be a spirit and we're sitting there for hours going, hey, who's here? Talk to me. And there's Please. nothing. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So then, so I guess, like, what you're saying is, like, movies that kind of just, like, over exaggerate, like, mm-hmm. happenings. Like, is there a specific one you can think of? Almost all of them. I, I think, like, once the hauntings start in all the movies, you know, they obviously build up to it. But then at the end, like, people are being tossed through windows and, yeah. you know. And it's a constant fire. going. Like, you know, you pissed off the ghost. He's here and he ain't leaving. Versus, you know, in real life when we do it, if we do get a spirit, he may only stay there for, like, five minutes and give us something. And then he's gone. He, he doesn't just terrorize mm-hmm. us for the rest of the night as it built up. Because, yeah. I mean, I'll give it that. Like, when we're, we're on our ghost hunts, we... Uh, we don't always. Most of the time, we don't get stuff to start. It yeah. does take time to build up. So I'll give it to mm-hmm. the movies on that. They're they're right about that. But usually, we'll build up, build up, get something great. We had nothing, and then it'll die down. And then we have to build it back up. We'll get something, and then die down. The movies just like constantly. Once it's there, mm-hmm. all you know, hell breaks loose, and we better run for the fucking hills. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I would say with the shows too. Um, I, I truly believe a lot of like Ghost Adventures evidence is real because we get similar stuff. So we like do you we got, witness yeah. it. Is there anything like do you want to give an example or Um I mean we get voices over the spirit box all the time and right like on. we've caught a lot of EVPs. Super clear EVPs. We've had mm-hmm. many of those um 100 feet underground. There yeah. was three mm-hmm. of us talking <coughs> and um we caught a whisper mm-hmm. saying it sounds like the devil whispers. Yeah, it's and pretty it's, clear. Yeah, and it's what's talking the, over us. What's so. the devil whispers? We don't know. No, that was the, no that idea. was like oh, what it said. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant like that was a terminology. No, oh, sorry. sorry, that's My what bad. it says. Oh, so we're talking. Yeah, and all so, of a sudden, okay, we pick that up. Got it. And so, like, way more that's terrifying. Real. Like, it <laughs> yeah, has to be real. yeah. So you we're, guys need to go now. That's way more terrifying. We're a hundred feet underground. When you get it on the shows, I'm like, I believe it, but they kind of almost glamorize it. And it yeah. looks like there's just action all night. You're yeah. just like pumping out well, it, EVPs and this and that's and not that. typically. Yeah. Well, it's because like that. They, I feel like they do that because they want to keep like you know viewer attention right. span. Because it's uh, I I feel like a lot of the viewers they're going for are like mm-hmm. you know you guys who are hardcore into this stuff. Yeah, like, it's just like ooh ghosts. Well, we put like, <laughs> on our videos. Of course, we don't put all the boring stuff in either. But yeah. people that don't know think that it's all like, oh, we're going to go ghost hunting and we're going to get voices yeah. all night. So they're, they're coming Someone's going to bitch slap me and like, who did this? <laughs> they're coming in with the wrong expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So then like, I guess like, is it hard for you to transition from doing what you do to actually going to see a movie? Like, because I, fe- I guess like for me, it's like I would have to pick apart everything that's happening. Yeah, you're like, that's not right. So that's no, yeah. no, that's not. So I mean. I'm actually able to separate it mm-hmm. pretty good. I, I get into the horror movies. 
Mercedes. <laughs> That's Mercedes. She's snoring in the <laughs> she's face planted <laughs> in the ground right now. Just <laughs> boom. <laughs> she's just out. And I think too, like if you it's totally different, you watch watch Ghost Adventures, all that, like they'll get something like Aaron. You know, I love him on the yeah. show, but like he freaks out where Dude. we're excited. Like we get something we're like Oh shit, we just got something. This is awesome. Keep talking. Let's get something. And they try to play it like it's scary, but a true ghost hunter really doesn't get scared when you get it. You get adrenaline. You get excited. You're like, this is awesome. I mean, cool. I think that's why South Park made fun of them. It's like, what is this? And they're peeing themselves. And they're just like, oh my god, what is this? A ghost hunter. A ghost hunter. My statement, though. They're like, don't talk about that. I will. I did last time and I'll do it again. I just hit it like counter every time. Just like Elmo. And I think it's also, like, when I watch, like, the movies, um, I sort of believe that that can happen. Like, I do believe, in some cases, that a spirit can throw hope, someone across the does, room. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. then, so wait, is there is there an actual danger you face with ghosts when you actually go hunt them? Or is the danger more real world? Well, I shouldn't say real world, more uh, living. Like, where you go I, to I your... think it exists and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, when I started, one of the big things that got me hooked on believing in ghosts, because when I started, I was interested, but I wasn't sold on it, is having a lantern kick, like, two feet down the hall for me. And that's mm-hmm. what sold me. And that was at the Elkhorn Lodge. And I was alone by myself. There was no way anybody else was doing this. I was upstairs. And I'm, like, you know, talking in a room. And I'm like, hey, anybody in here? And whack, there goes the freaking lantern like two feet from me i'm like holy shit yeah. that one i freaked out because it was my first like true right down. i'm like right and i'm alone and, it's, and i'm like oh my god and you can hear me on the camera saying that and i'm like holy shit what am i doing here <laughs> and, and now like i'm like yeah kick it again you know? please do it do it do it I do it now you just showed me fight so, me I think there are catch these hands aside from like you can get hurt in some places like we've gone to like the one in lime in the wonder tower i mean mm-hmm. there's glass everywhere yeah and it's like kind of dilapidated and it is you better have your tetanus shot so yeah you could get hurt but on another level i mean you can bring home stuff with you i've brought home things yeah. a couple of times there no, yeah. nothing bad has come with me but you could like i was worried so it's probably a few months ago we did a house or an apartment up in colorado springs and there was some nasty shit there like we were getting they were, and mean. they were collecting the weirdest shit from yeah like like garage, garage sales. sales and stuff but it was like huh. hand carved chinese drawings or something you know so we, got, we got samurai ghosts yeah so we're getting all this stuff and then we start looking around the room and you're like where did you get all this artwork oh we collect it well there's your fucking problem like quit picking <laughs> up stuff at the garage you know yeah. like, it was cool stuff and it was neat but it was like yeah you don't know where that came from and yeah it, and it's it definitely was, handmade you know and then wow. we, this guy got scratched like i was in the room and he didn't touch his yeah, neck you, and you mentioned that yeah, yeah. the guy yeah. got scratched and then there was voices coming through basically saying they wanted to hurt I and won't it, say her name, was, but yeah. the person. And it was the and... brother, too, right, that did, like, um, not witchcraft. Um, oh, no, it was the the boyfriend's brother was a brujo. Yeah, who lived there, and he had yeah. been mm-hmm. doing some rituals in that house as well. And huh. like, Man, you were bringing so you, everything. Yeah, yeah like, it's, just, it's just an open invite. All they need is a Ouija board. Yeah. And, and then they have to try them out. Different portals. So, okay, yeah. so then, I'm out. so then what do you feel like, do you feel like there's a line that movies cross with with paranormal investigators or happenings that that kind of I don't know if I want to say drives you crazy but definitely rubs you the wrong way I don't think so because I go with the expectation it's going to be a little overboard because because we heard that for some investigation groups like religion is the one that most people don't really know, cross the line yeah with. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about religion because it really touches certain people the wrong way right yeah. um, but no I, it doesn't bug me seeing that stuff um Maybe we're just able to separate it because we're like the best group in Colorado. (laughs) Plug. Yeah. (laughs) Code 3 Paranormal. Um, Yeah, I'm able to separate. I go to have a good time. I don't don't take it with me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're going to ruin scary movies if you're going to sit there and nitpick every little piece of it. And with the religion thing, um, it kind of works based on a person. Like, I'm a witch, and if I go into a home of someone that's Catholic, like a strict Catholic... My methods of cleansing and whatnot are probably not going to work. Are like sacrilegious mm-hmm. to them. Yeah, yes. and so you are. You would be more apt to like work with the person's beliefs because that's what kind of makes things. I guess that's the way to get rid of things. Or absolutely, you know. yeah. So I don't. I think you just have to be understanding. Yeah. With religion and. You just need to go enjoy the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, I guess why do you guys think that 
that paranormal is such a popular thing, uh, you know, and such a bridge between, you know, non-horror and horror fans. Because we all want to believe that we exist after we die. I think that's a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like you said earlier, the uh, the fear of the unknown is something you can't really yeah. do anything with. I mean, yeah, we can communicate with it, but do we really know how to... We do cleansings and stuff to try to help. But, or, sometimes or, they work, sometimes they exactly, don't. Exactly, so... It's like, I guess that's like one thing that like movies glamorize is that all you need to do is a cleanse to yes. get rid of it. Or yes. get a priest in there and the power priest, priest yes. compels you and... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you are starting to see more and more of those movies. The priest comes in, he's got the cross, and then the cross is knocked out of his hand. And it's like, oh shit! You know, now we're, yeah. really, we're really fucked if the priest is running out the door. Oh no, this is <laughs> so, a Jewish ghost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Listening. Exactly, exactly. So at least they're they're starting to show that like the priest ain't gonna stop at all. Or, yeah, you know, Bob's uncle comes over with some sage. It's not always gonna work. So Bob's uncle. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. And there's a, a book that I read on Poltergeist by um, Colin Wilson. And it's really interesting because a lot of hauntings will either start and they'll be like so intense for like a few months and then they die off. And so sometimes they just come and go. And if anyone's looking for a good book, it's just called Poltergeist by Colin Wilson. It's really interesting. And a yeah. super science. Plug? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was a plug. I mean, I'm plugging it just because I love it. You, the guy's dead you, and I don't know. How much you get from this? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. I just think it's <laughs> It was a great Ten way to like take someone. science <laughs> and like the scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, cause, so I guess for, I mean, I don't know. What, what do you, like, you feel like I've taken over? What? Yeah, no, I'm just going to fuck myself in my corner over here. <laughs> that's what you've been doing. <laughs> Basically. Do you guys feel That's not really Mercedes making that do noise. Do you guys feel that it's gone, crosses the line or it's just. Uh, for I, me, go ahead. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> God. <laughs> um. um <laughs> okay. um, honestly in my opinion for me I don't think there's lines that can be crossed when it comes to that kind of stuff because just because there's a wide spectrum when it comes to ghosts it, in my opinion ghosts don't fucking care what religion you are what anything your beliefs and stuff like that because like they're dead yeah. They don't care. Like, oh, am I going to offend this person if I'm like a Catholic ghost? I'm going to go <laughs> stick with Catholic people. <laughs> like, and, just, and when it comes to that, like, I don't I don't think there's really a line. And then when, like, people say that they cross a the line in movies and stuff like that, I feel like it's then don't – you see the preview, don't go see the movie. Yeah, you know it's coming. You need yeah. to cross lines. You're going to keep doing the exactly. same shit. And, like, it, I agree. And, like, especially with – okay, so, like, one of the few – movies that touch on like a like ghost movies that touch on something other than catholicism um is uh the, not the conjuring i can't i can't believe i'm forgetting the name it's uh oh. it's the jewish one it's uh oh i know what you're with talking the about god damn yeah. um not the baba the not the baba which is also really good G uh the jibbuk is like the name of the Dibuk. demon the dibbuk yeah um, is the name of the ghost, and it's like, and it haunts whoever owns this box that it's in, which yeah. is and in Zach Bacon's museum. Mm -hmm, which is all about, and it's all about a Jew, uh, Jewish ghost instead. So they have to go talk to a rabbi and stuff like that. So I like, I like that it branched out to that kind of Something aspect else, yeah. when it comes to like a religious aspect, because I, I don't know, just like it, like th I don't think there's a line across when it no, comes to I that. No, I agree. I agree. So I, I think I would, I would just have to disagree. Over, it may, mainly the fact that it's 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 what I what I've seen is is you see people who do want to become paranormal investigators who don't you know don't really study or train how to do it, and so they put themselves in situations where they get in legal trouble because they go into places that are you know pointing off and, and they don't get you know permits or anything. It's for you know some people get so excited that they don't realize what actually goes into doing it because they see these movies they see you know paranormal activity they see uh you know grave encounters that's or, different that's not a line being crossed but, well, that's, that's being stupid but i feel like that is <laughs> but i feel like that is a line though because hollywood makes it seem like they don't give enough like attention to like how much work you have to put into actually being a paranormal investigator and the reason the, here's my thing about it is because of the criticism of ghost hunters because ghost hunters got a lot a lot of heat because a lot of things that they do um were like came out as illogical or unscientific the way they would find their happenings yeah and so that's that's what i'm saying like i feel like that that is a line because it's setting up expectations that aren't realistic because they, they just does that's not how it works yeah but that's with everything 
Well, literally everything. I can't. I know my stuff. I can't run down a street being shot at by fifty guys and not a single bullet's gonna hit me. Uh, yes. While I'm like, <laughs> you haven't tried fucking yeah. Chinese Death Stars and somehow I can like fucking loop around and hit a guy. Like I, <laughs> like when it comes to anything, like you have to learn about it, and that's that's why I don't think there's an actual line that's being crossed. It's like just people being stupid instead of like taking re- taking the time word, like, oh, yeah. and researching like anything you have to do in life well so like well with ghost hunters like a lot of their activity wasn't like captured on tape like and their editing has been put into question multiple times that they're adding it so and that kind of comes back to like what you guys were saying like when people come to look at your channel they don't have the right expectations they think it's going to be you know ghost hunters i mean we kind of have edited it to where we only show the the we don't show us sitting around so yeah yeah yeah. but nobody's going to watch it if we're not if we're just putting the whole oh, everything, God, yeah. well, so but that's what I'm saying though is the line is where where it's entertaining and also where it becomes not realistic, like where absolutely it, because I feel I can only speak for myself, but I feel like that'd be kind of like insulting. Like if somebody came up to me and you know I was a paranormal investigator, I was like, you know, why isn't this happening? I saw this happen in Ghost Hunters. How do I know what you're talking about is actually real? Yeah, does, does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, that actually. And and, and uh, I think when I started too, it was the same thing. Until you actually like experience it yourself, you always question other people's stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. sure people do it with ours. I'll hear it and they'll be like, <coughs> "Yeah, man, that's really good." But how do we know they didn't edit that and put that on their phone themselves? How do, well, it's know? like the farting noise that we got yeah. over the spirit box. Like mm-hmm. when I showed it to the people at my work, they're like, "Was that was your teammate?" I was like, "No, like it wasn't. Right I was there. right there, and it came out of the." But it's hard to like. People just have to take you for your word. Yeah. So, well, and that that that's kind of what I'm getting at, though. Is like, is that line is because Hollywood's basically making it so it's hard for people to just take your word for it, mm-hmm. which isn't fair to you guys. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, some people can figure out that you know hands are just going to come out of the dark and go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that would be so cool if it happened, but. But I mean, it's I, not like I'd that. Myself, if that happened, like, nope, nope. I need a new pair of pants again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it was in my closet, I shoes, but. <laughs> honey, we're moving. Yeah, <laughs> that never helps. Yeah, moving nope. doesn't ever help. Just follows you. Follows uh-huh. you. The uh, <laughs> fucking what is it? Um, Sinister proved that. I know. I love Sinister. It's a good solid movie. Uh, Sinister proved that if you move, that's when you die. Yeah, and that's what I've learned from all of you. Don't move. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. You're as soon as you move, it's over. Something's there, mm-hmm. and now you're the new love with toy. It. Compromise. <laughs> yeah. We actually we're do that a lot tonight. with investigations, like mm-hmm. if we're like in someone's home. It's sort of like, well, hey, like we if you don't want to leave, can you just like either you know stop going in the room at night or and kind of work out a compromise? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We never really hear how it works. <laughs> like if it worked out, yeah, they're dead now. Answer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really you really now. wonder. A lot of people don't answer back. We've had places where we thought it was like family members fucking with them. We're like, this isn't a spirit. You're, you, This new boyfriend that moved into the house is who's yeah. moving shit. He's the one texting people to say away. Exactly. <laughs> and we're like, okay, well, you guys are rich, and this is a house we had in Lone Tree. It was crazy big, massive. Things written on the glass, everything. Well, it started when the boyfriend moved in, and it just wasn't adding up. So we're like, hey, put a camera system in here. You've got the money. It's like, super do it. cheap. I mean, you can get a good system for three, $400, put it in the house. And they never would, never would. And then we try to follow up with them to see if um, we did bless the house and everything just to see. But they never answered, never returned calls. It's cause so like you said, because his boyfriend did, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're right. We're not going to admit that. <laughs> well, the people that were starting fires, like that was obviously the girlfriend because I, they did kind of follow up. And as soon as the girlfriend and boyfriend broke up, so magically over. the random yeah. fire More stopped. Fires. I kind of want to bring you guys to my work, but it would never, I could, there's no way I could get you in there. But there's times at night where actually I do hear doors open and close yeah, after cool. 10 o'clock at night when no one's there and yeah. it's only me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, my boss is just like, oh, that's the boiler. And I'm like, okay. Mm, no. <laughs> sure yeah. it is. Some You're people, just the yeah. boiler. <laughs> they love, you know, a lot of people who don't believe or don't want to believe always rationalize it. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, and sometimes they're yeah. right. And sometimes yeah. they're not. Mm. And I, so I think one thing, uh, we've gone actually, we're already at 53 minutes, we've done talked a lot about this <laughs> and i still feel like we're barely scratching the surface i think the last thing yeah. i want to talk about is is what i also i don't know if it could be considered a line as well is exorcisms um because a lot of exorcisms do put people's lives at risks mm-hmm. when it's just people who have severe you know mental uh, something going on with them mentally maybe so but that's what i'm saying though is like 
I feel like that's a line somehow. It's like, how do you figure out if someone's actually, you know, possessed by something or, you know, because I feel like if somebody sees like, um, any movie, like even the exorcist that they think that's what they need to do is to help a person. I mean, I guess, how do you guys feel about that? I feel like that's way out of our, uh, expertise. In <laughs> no, that's okay. If somebody yeah. called us yeah. and they're like, we think someone's possessed, we might take, you know, check it out. And then if it seemed legit, I'd be like, I'm out. Like y'all need to call. <laughs> we would have, absolutely. We'd have to look above us. Yeah. Um, we would check it out because like I said, a lot of these are, it's not the case. Somebody's messing with them. And yeah. well, people not. think it's demons and it's 99% mm-hmm. of the time. It's not a fucking demon. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and can it be? Yeah, absolutely. But it's usually not. And, um, but yeah, it would go outside our expertise. I wouldn't even try to touch it and, and act like I knew what I was doing. So maybe that's kind of like... You just poke your head in. You're just like, yeah, no. Nope. Nope. If they're turning their <laughs> head around, I'm like, eh. So maybe that's like why it's like controversial for a lot of paranormal groups to get involved with religion because that's like... Like like you guys were saying, like you have to be careful with that because you know it's such a sensitive thing for a lot of people. Absolutely, like because I mean, it, like you said earlier, if they're religious, you kind of have to work towards what the religion is. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. the Catholic Church is so big on the exorcist, or was back in the day, and they still do it secretly. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna say, but with the exorcism, exorcism and stuff, there's a huge process that you have to do yes. anymore to yeah. like. To, Unless you can Catholic, find someone under the radar that does them. Yeah, and yeah. like, because like going through the Catholic Church and stuff like that, because they touched on it a lot in uh, The Right with um, Anthony, Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. There's a huge process you have to go through to for the Catholic Church to deem it worthy of an exorcism. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, because if you really are dealing with something horrible and you have to go through all this and wait and wait and wait, like... Yeah, yeah but then, but then, with all the, the crazy people out there, you kind of have to, yeah. because yeah. Yeah. 99% of it's not... A, yeah, because if it's just somebody neat. who has severe schizophrenia, then yeah, and, and they don't want to like do the whole process and they die because like, like for instance, the Emily Rose, mm-hmm. um, that because that was based off an actual Annalise event, yeah. Thing, yeah, yeah, and um, that was she was not possessed, like that's what was proved in the Catholic Church, like got a lot of flack from it. Yes, so, I like, the movie, she was well, the movie stylized it to the point where like she was possessed and stuff like that. But like the actual story, she wasn't. Mm-hmm. She had severe schizophrenia and everything, and, bipolar and bipolar yeah, disorder. And the and the tr- priest who did the whole thing, he was just so he felt so bad for the family, and the family couldn't afford to get her help that he went along with it, and that's why he lost everything. Yeah, that's why they're just protecting themselves, mm-hmm. making that process. But yeah. I, th- I mean, my friend and I were actually discussing this the other day. Um, a lot of the people you see with severe mental disorders, like, what if that is? What if, like, that is a demon? That's making them have yeah. the issues? I mean, yeah. it's possible. Because sometimes you look in people's eyes, and there's just, like, something They're, not right. Well, yet. then that's when it gets mm-hmm. more sad, because yeah. even if that's true, like, most people aren't going to believe you. Mm-hmm. And so that's what's really rough about it. Because, how do you ever prove that? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We're not so, in their body. Because they just medicate mm-hmm. you, and you're still stuck yeah, with it. and you mm-hmm. still have it. So, um, just go ahead and move on to stories. Yeah. So I have one story to share, and I figured if you guys want to, you probably have some good ghost stories to share. Oh, yeah. So do you just one of you want to go, or do you both yeah, of you? you um, well, I think I already told my, my – that was my favorite was the lantern getting kicked. Um, let's see here. I can go first. Yeah, if you, you need. go first, yeah, so I think, which one so is this, a good one. So this was the follow-up to, like, Lauren's uh, email that she sent us. This is the full story. Feel free to put in your input or your, you know, advice on this. I was living in Nebraska for about a year, and when I first moved there, we decided to drink and drive to a haunted house. I'm hoping the person that was driving wasn't drinking. (laughs) We don't condone that. And we went into the haunted house. Are you like Aaron? (laughs) You know, when we were younger and dumber. (laughs) Uh, This was by. (laughs) <laughs> this was by my cousin's place so i thought why not we get what sorry so i thought why not we get there and it's this creepy house like in the 1900s style farmhouse with a barn a few feet away when a few feet away from it when i asked about what happened here to make people believe it was haunted i was told that the farmer went crazy shot his wife in the face with a shotgun and hung his child in the downstairs closet later going to the barn to slit his own throat. During lightning storms, you feel a sense of sadness there, and it brings you to tears. When they flashed the headlights there from the truck um, on the porch of the house, there was this man who had a shotgun 
dressed in old-fashioned clothes, standing in the way of the door, looking at us. There were orbs, blue and red orbs, flying around, and I heard growls. Something sounded demonic from the barn. I looked, and there was a pair of red eyes under the barn and by the trees. We got the hell out of there, but before we could, one of the people I was with took a picture of the barn, and in the picture was a face twisted in agony and figures everywhere. The farmer was there, too, and looked as if he was going to shoot. That was the scariest night of my life. Where is this house? Nebraska. Nebraska. We are going We're to going Nebraska. Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska. Code 3 to Nebraska. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the... I'll get, I will figure out what yes. house it is. Yeah, I, totally I will let you guys know. Please do. We'd love that. But I mean, what do you guys think about that? I, those are the ones that you... I, I do start to tend to believe that it would be demonic at that point just because of how bad it is. I mean, anyone out there, normal persons, isn't going to kill their kids. Yeah. And wife. And then, mm-hmm. you know, themselves... So those are when I, I do start to believe it's a demon who took over. And mm-hmm. she's saying she saw several figures and everything. I mean, it's just red eyes. It's all sounding demonic because, I mean, at the end of the day, none of us are going to go. Well, the, kill the thing that really stood out to me was the orbs. Yeah. Because I know, I know from the little experience I have is that when there's something around, you would usually see orbs. Mm-hmm. That's just what. <laughs> okay, Aaron. I'm not a big believer yeah. in orbs. Yeah, it's about 50 No, no, no. no, let, no. Yeah, it's a dust particle. It's generous. <laughs> generous. I would no. say it's like 80 20. Okay, no, go ahead. Uh, say why why you don't really believe in orbs. Too many I, variables. There's way too many variables. Really? Especially, like, I mean, if you see it with your own eyes, like this, that's a little different. But when you catch stuff on video or when you catch, like, pictures, pictures are the worst. And people are like, oh, my God, there's orbs everywhere. I'm like, it's fucking dust, you yeah, idiot. Yeah, we, we get pictures all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I get pictures sent to me all the time. Hey, this is what I got. And I'm looking at them like, dude, that's, you're like, tons of dust. That's you a clean your house. That's a door. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> clean your lens, you we, son of a We bitch. tend to only really believe in the orbs in a situation that would be like this, I would say we would believe the orbs because you have the orb as well as tons of other evidence. Mm-hmm. We're not just going to... We get pictures all the time just an orb. And you're like, no. I mean, is there any type of orbs that are more, like, more, uh, more well, solid than others? Like More believable is the ones that... Uh, I don't even know how to describe them. They have, like, conscious all, movement. Yeah, the conscious movement. Okay. Because if you watch, like, dust and stuff, it looks like popcorn. So color doesn't really mean anything? Color doesn't. We usually don't see color. So at least nice to know that orbs isn't a race thing. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) It matters on your camera you're using, the flash, what's around, that changes some colors. But there's uh, some of the orbs will be more of, like, a a rope, a line. Yeah. Those are a little more believable because I don't know anything that's going to make that unless you're moving your camera super quick and super fast. But everything would be blurry. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. everything would be blurry. So if you got this crazy roped or and everything else is clear it could be something absolutely well, like we caught the well i wasn't on the team yet but you caught the orb going around the door the like corner. it was it was yeah. on a mission like it wasn't just floating but on video it like yeah. zooms around it literally goes around and somebody just the other day reached out to me and said i think that's a hand they had like zoomed in on it and everything and not like human hand they're like it looks like a ghost hand is reaching around the corner and pulling back <laughs> and uh huh. i haven't had a chance to analyze it but i watched it for a few minutes, I'm like, yeah, kind of. Does. There's this YouTube video yeah. I want you guys to watch and give your opinion on. It's actually called like Ghosts and Demons. I just, I'll have to show you to yeah. show you it, but it's it's actually pretty interesting. Um, do you want to share your story and then we can wrap up? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it would actually be the time uh, Aaron was on the team yet, but we did the um, Wonder Tower. Wonder Tower, and uh, that was the same night that we got that hand ball that went around the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. We're going up the stairs, we get to the top, and we're all up in the room, and we hear running down the stairs. And I mean, it is loud as day, like I just ran up the stairs. Right. Freaked us all out. And so, earlier the cops had stopped by, talked to us for a minute, and they said, hey, you know, be careful, homeless guys want wander into the Wonder Tower. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, and so, that was my thought, like, dude, somebody did come in here, because it was a cold night, and so... Um, I actually took out my gun because it was so loud and that's so prevalent that I thought somebody was in there. And I run down the stairs chasing whatever I thought it was and nothing. And this place is packed to the gills. Huh. That if anybody was actually in there running, they would have knocked over shit. It was all glass. It was all mm-hmm. antiques. There's no way to make it through there without hitting something, especially running. So that one was that was a crazy night. And that's the same night we got that orb going around there. That place is insanely haunted. It's so cool, too. Yeah. It's the mm-hmm. coolest place I've investigated. You can nice. see seven states. <laughs> air. You can see the air of seven states when I looked it up on Ripley. I'm like, okay. I got to the top. 
And it's like, not that tall. See, yeah. <laughs> you can't see seven states. I can see some grass over there. And uh, it's Is uh, that apparently it's the air of seven states you can see. Whatever the hell huh. it means. But you can see what? the pollution, <laughs> the pollution and, and the and clouds. clouds. <laughs> you can see a couple lights. Yeah, that's probably why it shut down. But yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's intense. Um mm-hmm. Well, I think that's that's it for this episode then. Yeah. Um, so like us, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. on Instagram. Um, like us on Twitter at officialphp. Uh, send us your stories at punkrockhorrorpodcast at gmail.com. We want to hear everyone's creepy stories because we're actually starting to run out now. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna have to like sit here and twiddle our thumbs for an extra ten minutes next time. I'm just gonna start making up stories and we're gonna play. Is it real or not? <laughs> I'm just gonna make up variations of popular ghost movies, and, say, and then me which and ghost you, movie is this? Me and you and our two friends with in our tan suits went to this museum. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like us on YouTube to give us, and this is important, everyone. If you're listening to us on iTunes, please give us a five star review. Tell us why you like us. It'll help us stand out and help us get some more traction and attention on that site. Please check out our Patreon, um, Punk Hardcore Podcast on Patreon. We're going to be offering some pretty good content for everyone who's a, a supporter for us on there. Um, yep. Except my hat. That's mine. Except for Cody's hat. <laughs> for Code 3, follow them on YouTube and Facebook. Did you still want people to follow your your Instagram? Oh, or any Instagram. But the most important thing you guys can do for us is follow our YouTube because... Facebook al- algorithms suck. Yeah. yeah. Harder than I do. Oh, yeah, they're pretty rough. It's oh. horrible. So YouTube is where you're going to see it. Yeah, go ahead and plug whatever you guys need to plug. Just that that YouTube. Yeah. And check us out on YouTube. That's the biggest platform that. Uh, yeah. Do you YouTube. want anyone on your personal Instagram to check sure, it out? Sure, Snow White Horror Princess. So. Go like my, my shitty <laughs> selfies. Tots and dorbs. So yeah, um, thank you everyone for listening, and we will see you on episode ten. Boobs. Bye. 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 Poop.